Hello beautiful people, what is up? Today's video is going to be all about what I eat in a day. So I did this kind of a little bit weird because I'm going to be honest, the way that my job works and stuff, it's a little bit hard to film things at work. So I have some vlog footage, but I'm also going to kind of talk you through it. And I actually did this two, in two days because the first day that I was filming this, I ended up getting a migraine. And so that like completely discombobulated the whole thing. So we're going to talk about day one first, which I have some vlog footage for you. So I'm actually going to insert that here. I am doing a what I eat in a day video today. So I thought I would bring you along on my phone. Starting off the day, it's on 930 now. And I actually went to the gym this morning. So I usually get up, my alarm goes off at 515. We're out of bed by 545. I get ready real quick. We go to the gym. Today we went grocery shopping after that because we needed to go grocery shopping. But, and when I say we, I mean me and Matt, which is my husband. And so now I just hung out at home and I got ready for the day and I'm about to leave for work. But I made myself a smoothie for breakfast and I also have some coffee. So my coffee, we use K-Cups and I have a coffee in here with some sugar-free French vanilla coffee mate. It's the like powdered creamer. So that's what I'm having for coffee wise. And then in my smoothie, I did about three fourths cup of nonfat milk a half a banana, some uh, like a handful of spinach, and then three, one third cup of mixed frozen berries. So it was like raspberries, cranberries, and blackberries, I believe. And then one scoop of my protein powder. I use Bloom's protein powder. I'm using the vanilla shake one. And Bloom is by Mari by Mari Fitness, which she's great. If you don't follow her, what are you doing here? Go follow her. So I'm using her protein. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. And then I'm going to bring with me some snack stuff because I'm going to be working late tonight. And I will have to talk you through what I have for lunch because my job's kind of weird and I work at a mental health facility for teens. And um, I always eat lunch with the girls that I work with, the, um, the teens. And so I can't film anything when I'm at work. And we are fed the same thing because we deal with some kids who have eating disorders and stuff like that so everyone has to be plated the same so um I don't get to pick what I eat for lunch and I don't actually know what I'm having for lunch so so I will talk to you about what I had uh after I have it I'll talk to you guys once that happens I'll show you what I'm going to bring for snacks though and then um for dinner I think we're gonna make some ground turkey tacos I bought this I bought this here, so I think we're gonna try this tonight because I haven't tried it before, but it's already seasoned. So we'll make that tonight for tacos and some um, Spanish rice. And here's our fridge in case you're curious. Lots of Zevia. Zevia's soda that's sugar-free, caffeine, some of it's caffeine-free, um, dye-free, it's like good for you. And then Matt always does love his orange Coca-Cola Zero. So that's what's happening. This is the snack I'm bringing for later. It's the Zen Party. So it's got wasabi peas and crackers and stuff in here. Sesame sticks, green peas, almonds, cashews, and wasabi peas. So this is a third of a cup is a serving, which is at 140 calories. So I put two, two thirds of a cup in a plastic bag. And then I was gonna bring a Cliff Bar, but I'm not going to because I'd rather have two thirds cups of these, which is two servings. So that's what I'm gonna do for now. So that was my breakfast and it was my plan for the day, but that is not at all what happened. So I ended up eating this for lunch, which had some brown rice in it, as well as some of those Gardein chicken grillers, which is essentially supposed to be like grilled chicken strips, but it's made from tofu. And then that had some green verde sauce, like some salsa verde sauce on it. I also put about a tablespoon of sour cream in there. And then I took a slice of pepper jack cheese, crumbled it up and put it in there too. It was good. And then from there, I was going to end up having a snack, which was the like peanut 
mix wasabi mix that I had put into a baggie but I didn't end up eating that because I was not very hungry after this I ended up having my migraine that I spoke about for a second didn't end up really eating until like 7 30 that night and Matt made me like just mini quesadillas so it was like the little corn tortillas and some cheddar cheese I ate three of those um, and that's what I had that day. And then the next day I continued on with my food. So this is the meal that I was making. So it had vanilla Greek yogurt in it, as well as vanilla strawberry granola from Trader Joe's. It had some chia seeds in there, as well as some raspberries and some blueberries. And then I mixed that all up and it was delicious. And then this here is the macros and this is how I count my macros. So this is really nice. I definitely love my fitness pal. It's great. And I don't personally think you need to buy the like buy the one. I think the free one works just fine. I'm also big on like it's kind of all estimation for me. I'm not really into putting out the scale and grabbing the grams and checking all of that because I feel like for me it would get really I'm a pretty competitive person and also I'm not huge into going that hard because I think that for me it just wouldn't do well with my head a lot so that's okay though and then for lunch yesterday I did not take a picture of it because like I was saying in the vlog clip earlier I work at a mental health facility so like I can't take pictures or videos anywhere near the kids so and I was with the kids when I was eating so that just is what it is so I had a black bean burger with some wheat bread and then I put mayo mayonnaise and mustard on it but I don't count the mustard because it's zero calories if you're interested that's fantastic and then I also had this cauliflower our chef at my work makes it quite often and it is like this wing sauce on cauliflower and it's not it's not like cauliflower buffalo bites it's like different and I don't know exactly how to explain what it is but it is so good it's so tasty I absolutely love it um, and so that is what that was and this is the breakdown of the macros and the calories for that it's so nice to have the my fitness pal too because it has like a huge thing uh, where you can search for food but you can also scan the food that you have if you if, if you have the bag that has like the label on it, if you scan it, then it'll pull up its serving size and its calories and all of that. So that's really nice. Dinner last night, I bought this Jenny O ground turkey that was pre-seasoned for tacos. I had never tried it before. It was pretty good. Um, Matt and David keep calling it cat food because when I was cooking it, when it was wet, it definitely looked like cat food and I said it and now they're just calling it cat food. I'm like, Okay, <laughs> so I made that with, again, some corn tortillas, some Spanish rice, and then for my tacos, I put some onions on there and some cilantro, which I didn't actually count just because it's calorically irrelevant, and I'm more in focusing on, like, my calories than anything else, so... Yeah, but I also have on my snacks down here that I did eat two chocolate chip cookies, which are the Albertsons brand. You know that purple bag? Mm. And I also had one, well, two of the little tiny Snickers, which is one, it's the same calorie intake as the one mini Snicker, like that's that size. So that's what's in my counter here. And <laughs> that's just the period talking, like I needed some chocolate. <laughs> So that was one, one and a half full days worth of eating and I really liked making this video. It definitely was interesting, I don't know, to, to have somebody, to know that people are going to be looking at how I count macros and calories and stuff. Like there's definitely some concern about judgment and so I just had to like really get over my fear of like what people on the internet might say because people on the internet can be scary. I hope you're not scary watching this. Um, and so it's kind of like intimidating to put so much out there because, and especially when we're talking about weight or body image or anything like that, it can definitely get a little bit um, 
frisky, but I'm currently attempting to lose the last 10 pounds that I really want to lose, and I'm also going to the gym to try to gain muscle. So it's not really about losing a number scale wise, it's more about losing inches in my waist and gaining muscle in places I want to look lean. My goal for 2020 is abs. I really want to have abs by June. We're going to Costa Rica in June. I want to look bomb. And yeah, so that's what's going on with my food intake. If you're interested on my workout routine, I use Mari from Mari Fitness. I use her guides. I'll link her channel and her guides down below. I also have her band. She also has a supplement website that she owns and um, I use her protein but she has a bunch of other supplements and stuff that I have not yet tried. I'm really interested in trying her greens. I really love her a lot. Um, if you're interested in some YouTubers that I watch for like health and fitness stuff, it's her and Sarah from Sarah's Day are like my two main. And then I also watch Sam Oz Curl. I always get her name like a little bit messed up in my mouth. <laughs> and then I also just recently found Elsa's Wholesome Life on Instagram and she's great too. She was on the Health Code podcast which is ran by Sarah from Sarah's Day. I absolutely loved it. So those are some of my like YouTuber aesthetics and like favorites of this type of content. So yeah, they're goals. They're all goals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I make videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. So if you want to hit that subscribe button and see more from me, I would love it. And I hope I will see you guys very soon. Bye!